Since August, there have been close to 2,000 cases of pertussis reported in Texas. If those numbers continue to grow, this will become the most cases of this infection in more than 50 years. We join KAG's HD News reporter Monica Castro in the studio. Monica, do parents need to watch out for this? Matthew, according to the Brazos County Health Department, in July and August, there were four cases. And just this week, there were two preschool children diagnosed with the illness. If a person gets the illness, they may experience cold-like symptoms and they get a whooping-like cough. That coughing could last several weeks to months. It is a vaccine-preventable disease, so it's suggested that children get their Tdap shot as well as adults. Right now, with it being such a global community with people flying in and traveling in and immigrating here from everywhere, uh, vaccination rates may not be as good. And it can be fatal, especially in the kids. Those are the ones that tend to have the worst problems. They can get pneumonia from it. More than half of infants younger than 12 months of age who get the disease require hospitalization. Matthew.